to the CCO pre-show for episode 438. 438? We're here. Holy shit. Yeah, we're brought to you by the Patreon supporters over at patreon.com. Whether they like it or not. Slash CCO podcast. Yes. Yes. Uh, of which we have a couple new ones to talk about who, <laughs> who thought that they could give themselves a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even do it with a straight face. <laughs> no. Dummies. <laughs> That's not how that works at all. Not even a little teeny bit. So we gotta say we gotta say thanks to them on the the regular show tomorrow, 438. We've got last week's winner. We've got some teasers. We were just talking about them uh-huh. and uh, some cool stuff. Some yeah. cool stuff going on for the patrons, some cool stuff going on for, for the CCO store yeah. and some upcoming uh I guess merch or whatever. Sure. I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying not to turn my head this way because I got a bad sunburn. They were just making fun of me. <laughs> yes. Sun and wind burn. It's it's excellent. Yeah. They're the best kind of burns you can oh, get. Man. Even in the summer, the air here kills us, hey? Yeah. Although I guess I guess that happens down like in the land of the free and yeah. in other places too. Yeah. It kills us because it's too hot, not because it's too cold. Yeah. Or because the wind is too strong. People in, uh, is it Kentucky that had all those storms? Probably. And there's, they're like... Tens of thousands of people without powers. Some people died. Oh man, like so if tornadoes and stuff. Yeah. So oh. if you're down there, I hope you're you're doing okay. I wonder if T Coats got hit. He lives like right in Tornado Alley, Oklahoma. Well, he, I'm, I'm sure he's fine. Uh, he yeah. Is, well, right? what? A, w- regardless of his disposition, he is fine. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. I'm sure. I was showing off Lord of the Rings playmats in the Discord because, of course, I was. Uh, F.U. Alex got a new one, ordered it online. And Adolf Finstark, my favorite Tolkien artist. And Kiel got one in Vancouver. Uh-huh. And uh, Tyler hops on and just takes me to task. Man, I appreciate <laughs> every day. I appreciate T Coats <laughs> doing things that I don't have time for. That is excellent. <laughs> that is fantastic. Doing things that the nation needs. Yeah, yes. that's right. Okay, so we need to play the Boosty Pack game. But today it's going to be a little bit different because. We uh, we don't have a commander. No. We've well, got, we have several commanders. Uh, 46 in front of us, actually. Wait, what? That is the Mahdi Ho 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 commanders that are new. Oh, that's plus not... Plus the reprinted ones. Yeah, there's... In thir- the precons. There's 32 new ones. Yes, I have that number too. From the show and from the... Not the show. From the set and the commander product for the modern set. Yeah. Which is great. This is my favorite one. I'm not going to play her in anything, but I really like her. Uh... Let's um I think she's cool. Okay, well and let's I'm, use that one. Okay, so this is how it works. For anybody who's new to the, the the booster pack game, you guess the commander that we're giving hints to, put it in the comments below, and then you can win a CCO sticker pack, new mm-hmm. stickers, mm-hmm. CCO token pack, mm-hmm. or a booster pack of magic cards. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Who wants that? I don't know. Some people do take that. I don't know why. Like it's like taking a win. And flushing it down the toilet. A win? Like like you win a game? You win anything and just flush it. Just I win flush I win a prize. It. Well, what do you want to do with it? I'll just I'm gonna break it so nobody else can use it and then put it in the garbage. That's what that is. <laughs> like Yes. You want a PS4. I'm gonna hit it with a hammer uh, and then put it in the trash. I wanna say it on the pre show and tomorrow show that last month's winners and Patreon signer uppers. All of those gifts and winnings and sticker packs and and the sign up gifts and stuff all in the mail. Yeah, I was so. there when he came to the the post office on Thursday. Yes, yes, I was physically present and watched him take several things and put them in the mail. Yep, yeah, and I always come and get you to like sign a random play mat or whatever, yep. and I got to borrow a sharpie because I always forget one. <laughs> and I get there, and I hear you talking in a game, so oh I'm my, like, oh uh, my okay, God. I'm not, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go to disturb him. It must be your turn. Yeah. Like I'm trying to be courteous, and then I go and talk to a bunch of other people at the store or whatever. Then I come back, and you're just untapping, and I'm like, wait a second, it wasn't even your turn. <laughs> God damn it, Brad. Okay, before you do anything, can you just sign this so I can bounce? Like, <laughs> God damn, man, that was 
the most ridiculous game of Magic I think I've ever played that had the most anticlimactic ending ever. Oh. I had, like, this board where any time one of my creatures would die, I'd get four more of them, and then the original one would come back. Okay. So, like, you couldn't erase me, right? And you couldn't sweep yeah, me. And, yeah, then, like, yeah. and everybody had boards like that. Like, these just insane, just full, and, like, nobody could really get through, and we're just struggling to get it. And we had finally reached the point where people could start attacking because there was a... Storm Tidal Leviathan in play. Okay. It kind of like at least kept uh, creatures from yeah, bouncing off only, each only other. Yeah, only right? creatures with Island Walk can attack, right? Yeah, Correct. Yeah. And so we're finally out from underneath that. And we're like, okay, shit's about to get real. And so everything's kind of getting set up, set up, set up. Cyclonic Rift. Oh. Game's over. Like Game's oh. over and then like you lost, I well, guess. Yeah, yeah, right? we, yeah. everybody but cast so, yeah. The, the, the Rift is the winner. Yeah, yeah I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Like, what a, just what an anticlimactic ending to a game. That's not an indictment of Cyclonic Rift or playing it. It's just, that game was so good and we were all, like, every turn yeah, was yeah, so yeah. fucking weird. Sometimes, so yeah, sometimes you, you get Cyclonic Rifted and it's the icing on top of the cake for you winning or losing after you've yeah. after a bunch of dominating things have happened, right? Yes. It's like, okay, somebody's clearly dominating that same somebody, Cyclonic Rifts, and it's like, oh, yep, that's game. Yeah. But when when it's all back and forth and back and forth, and then somebody's like, oh, okay, top deck this turn 11. Yeah, right. I guess the game's over. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's a little poopy, but still, we had a lot of fun, which is what, yeah, which I guess games are about. Yes. Not of magic, but games in general. Okay, so... Boosty Pack Game. Boosty Pack Game. This is a new card. Yes. Of course, we're picking a new card. It's a new legendary creature. With an old face. Hmm. Yeah. But not an, I guess, old face. She doesn't actually look old. Oh, she it's a she. Quite, she looks quite young. We, oh, we've seen this character before then. Sure have. Man, that's almost enough hints right there. Like, how many how many characters that have, that we've seen before? Are she's? Th- that, that are new characters before. that we've seen before. We've, we've got at least... I see three. I see... Three, four, five, six. I see that are new? seven. No, what? no, no. I see seven that that aren't new. Oh, even though they're new cards, or maybe they're reprints and they're they're, and they're female ladies. characters. But this one is this one's a lady with an. I, I think. I'm I'm sure she is. I think so. And um, famous famous meme deck. Yeah. The, the OG one, famous meme no. deck. We got to leave it at that. Yeah. yeah right? I yeah. think that's enough hints. Yes. I think that's enough That's hints. a good one. I like that card. I like that. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not going to play it, yep. but boy, am I excited to see other people play it. I, I think it's really cool. I almost, and this is going to end up turning into another hint. I almost put or wanted to put this in my Calamax deck because what it does. Oh, uh, yeah. But the way I play Calamax, this card wouldn't, wouldn't be very good. I wanted to put her in any one of my decks that she could go in. But I don't do that. Like I like <laughs> yeah. the, oh, the, oh, the I, top I, the top line of the cards like yeah, and then the rest of the cards like oh yeah. I'm more interested in the second part. Yes. You're more interested in the first part. So Correct. okay, there you go. It there. does two things. There it is. Oh, that, yeah, people man, are, people are geez, get so that. many hints. And it has my very favorite Andy Warhol. Oh treatment. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I really I, I've like got it. that down to ask you about it. Man, those are so cool. Do you feel like and and maybe we'll just tease it here, but do you feel like the Andy Warhols that came out, the the showcase profiles with like the solid color background is what we mean? Yeah, those came out in Commander Ma- uh, Masters. I th- yes, Commander Masters last year. Yeah, they're doing them again in Modern Horizons. Commander Ho Ho Ho, if you will. Different officially, <laughs> officially <laughs> a different product. Yeah. Lol. Does that bug you at all? <laughs> a little bit. Truly, I I don't really like that this is clearly a commander set. But everything's a commander what? set now. But this is so much a commander set. Like, they're not even trying to make it look like this is the draft mm-hmm. innovation set. This is so obviously a commander set. Even when you read how to collect the things, the new to modern cards are, like, pretty rare. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, they're, they're listed as their own thing. They're a specialty item you can open in the packs. Oh. So as well, they're, you know in, what? Maybe they're they... injecting new cards into modern yeah. in like 10% of packs. Maybe they maybe they highlighted that just so like people know that there's new modern cards. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's a marketing thing. And the best modern card is in one of the commander decks. So Oh, which one? Uh, the land that's all lands. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah that Urza. because it's, it's Urza land. It's a locust. It's a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a gate. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and a desert and a tower and a yep. mine and a yep. power plant. Yeah. And I don't know if that is that is it modern legal? What is is that? that is that, that card? card? Is it modern legal or is it not? Because it's in the commander decks. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. That's so. a, that's a next week question when we're looking at the set proper. Yeah. We. we We'll try to remember <laughs> to oh, answer that question. Oh, no. We'll be talking about that. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you, you going to play that land? No. Oh. I, can't, I, can't, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. I think it's like $70. Speaking of can't afford. It's more expensive than that fucking cat. What do you think about the Eldrazi? Because we're going to be looking at, like, I think, five legendary Eldrazi today. Oh, give, me, yeah. give me the Coles notes on like kind of your 100... Thousand foot view. I'm sure Miss Eldritch will be really happy to see more tentacle monsters. I love tentacles. I'm take that out of context, if you will. I shall. I'm not really into them myself, and I don't like that they gave Eldrazi a five color option because mm. all of the they give them two. The specific like things that help people beat Eldrazi because Eldrazi is really good. Mm-hmm. No, spoiler alert: they're really strong. Yeah, the, all of the, them. And they the, always have been. The precon from yesteryear. Last year? From last year? Yeah, okay. And Rise of Eldrazi, OG Commanders, and the Eldritch Moon ones, like yeah. the Cosmic Horror ones, like all of them... Are good. Yeah, and among the most powerful creatures of all time, yeah, right? And now there's more of them yep. that are all very good. Yep. And now, but the one thing that kind of kept them in check was that they were all colorless. And so you could... Mm. There was like a, a design restriction. And now not only has that design restriction been removed, it's been removed to a point where now you can just go... Urborg coffers play Ulamok. <laughs> right? I, like, I like I like that. Ah, um, uh, yeah. No, when well, you can't play the new ones, they have. Who the fuck? Who wants to play the new ones when you could play the old ones? Ooh, this Ulamok the Deviler though. Yeah, the Ooh, he's, he's pretty good. Yeah. He's pretty yeah. good. All of these new ones are very good. Yeah, but they don't need colorless mana either. D- Specific is, is Ulalek. Is that, is Lek? Is that like? Kozilek. It's Ulamog and Kozilek oh. like had a baby. And then that baby had one of the most washed out arts I've ever seen on a oh, magic card. Oh, maybe they're standing in front of the sun. That's what I, it looks like. I hey? was looking at them this morning. Ulalek is Ulamog and Kozilek. I was going to say like, is this Ulamog's wife? Because her shoulders, like every shoulder joint looks like it's got a big old nipple on it. <laughs> 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 Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, I can't. You can't. I can't. And I can't shan't. do it. No, you know. I shan't. I know that you're correct. But I don't know. I'm just, uh, again, another thing aimed squarely at EDH players, right? Yeah. Here's the Eldrazi. I mean, draft us. <laughs> says wizards right can you like, imagine doing can you imagine doing like oh well you're gonna say no because you hate it but can you imagine doing like commander sealed with Marty ho 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 no that would be so good <laughs> that would be so fun honestly it probably would be yeah I might do that yeah yeah, yeah. I might probably not but I, I might okay well you know what there's actually a lot of a lot of legendary creatures I'm interested to hear your takes on and a lot that I'm looking forward to talking about and discussing showcasing on the show tomorrow you know what I'm excited about? And we can talk about this next week, probably when we talk sure. about the show proper, is that they've taken like one of the most powerful and iconic creatures in history of magic. Uh, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And like he, he was so many dollars and he was so strong and he just defined a format. Just made a joke out of and him. And just turned him into a creature token. <laughs> Right? And then then they had the unmitigated gall to not include him in the precon. <laughs> They put in strictly better hymns, three of them, but they didn't put him in there. Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't want to drive the price down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tarmogoyf, have you how drastically you have, fallen out of favor? How you are a joke now? That's like too bad. And the fact that there's a commander that makes them and it's not good enough is like, wow, I could have ten Tarmogoyfs. Okay, I got you. I, I got think you. I'll build something else. I got you. <laughs> the year, the year, two thousand and twelve. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, this is long way back. Yeah, this is back in Stone Age. Tarmogoyf. Yeah. Many money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I traded playset Tarmogoyf yep. for sealed Commander's Arsenal Commander product. Ooh. Ooh that trade Ooh, aged is. well for your good friend, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. So with that, uh, 438. Mm-hmm. It's, it's hard to remember the 430s, and we're like deep into it. Yeah, well, they're almost done. The fours, the 438. Yeah. Your Brando, I here am. with Ryan, Modi, Ho Ho Ho, Modern Horizons 3, Commander, not really a review. Burr, burr.
Bye-bye.